Are you looking for the best drones in this video we will look at some of the best drones on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. DJI Mavic 3. The main camera on this drone has a big 4 thirds 20 MP sensor and a customizable aperture, providing great image quality for stills and video. It's a drone for pros, with video up to 5.1K in standard and RAW codecs, stills in RAW and JPEG formats, and other advanced functions. The Mavic 3S second camera, on the other hand, is much more limited, with just JPEG photos and regular video at 4K 30fps in auto mode, albeit it does have a hybrid zoom of up to 24x. The Mavic 3 has a folding design that makes it easy to transport, and the two models available weigh 895G and 899G, respectively. The regular model has 8GB of internal storage. Still, the Cine model has a 1TB internal SDD that supports Apple ProRes 422HG video recording and is somewhat more expensive and heavier. Both variants include a microSD card slot for additional storage. This drone is DJI's flagship, consumer, model, with a flying time of up to 46 minutes and several highly important safety features. When enabled, the drone can fly autonomously around obstacles or brake when identified. Number 2. Riz Tello. Drones are divided into two categories, toys and real camera drones for taking images and films, with the Riz Tello from DJI falling into the former. While the Tello's 5MP camera produces JPEGs and 720p video, it may give an affordable entry point for beginners to fly a drone and get a feel for how they operate without the risk and anxiety of crashing a much more expensive model. You would not want to buy this drone for creating high-quality visuals because of its restricted camera capabilities, absence of a gimbal, and maximum flight length of about 13 minutes. But it doesn't mean it can't be entertaining, and it can serve as a stepping stone into the world of drone flight, as previously said. The Tello can be flipped in mid-air and taken off from the palm of your hand, and the propeller guards, together with the compact size and low weight of 80G, allow you to fly the drone safely indoors. The drone's flight range is limited to 100 meters, and most people control it with a smartphone app. Scratch can also be programmed, making it educational and entertaining for children. Number 3. DJI FPV, FPV, first-person view, drones are typically niche and difficult to operate. Still, with the DJI FPV, everyone can enjoy the immersive flying experience and video that these drones offer in an easy-to-fly package. It comes with DJI Goggles V2 to give the pilot a first-person camera view, but to stay safe and legal, you must always have someone with you spotting the drone in the air when flying outdoors. The FPV has a fixed upright body and propeller arms, which must be attached and removed before and after each flight. The FPV makes up for its short battery life with the sheer amount of pleasure it delivers and the ability to fly at eye-watering speeds of up to 60 mph in sport mode and up to 87 mph in manual mode. However, the latter is only for experienced FPV pilots. Because this drone is all about video, stills are limited to JPEGs, which are generally unimpressive. However, the 4K video looks amazing and can be taken in both a standard and decent alike profile, RAW. Compared to standard drones, the safety features are minimal, however, it uses GPS locating in normal mode, and sensors alert to potential collisions and slow the drone down but not stop it. Therefore extreme caution is required throughout flights. Number 4. Mavic Air 2. The Mavic Air 2 was quickly followed by the Mavic Air 2S. Still, this little drone remains highly relevant in the market because of its 25-gram weight advantage over the Air 2S, 570G, and, most crucially, its lower price, making it ideal for people on a budget. The Air 2S 1 forward slash 2 inch 12 MP sensor can record stills in RAW, JPEG formats, and video at up to 4K at 60 frames per second. In addition, the drone can record video in both the DCINE-like, RAW, and standard profiles. The Mavic Air 2 looks remarkably comparable to the Air 2S and has the Mavic series regular folding design. In sport mode, the advertised flight time is up to 34 minutes, and the maximum flight speed is up to 42 miles per hour. 
There is no digital zoom with this model, but you can shoot 48 MP stills saved as JPEGs, so you may crop photographs down to obtain a similar effect. With video, you must gently zoom into 4K footage and output at FHD in video editing software to achieve a similar effect. The Mavic Air 2 has front obstacle sensors and sensors on the bottom of the airframe for further safety. Geofencing keeps the drone out of restricted airspace like airports, and the Advanced Pilot Assistance System, APIS, 3.0 may be programmed to fly around or break when objects are spotted. Despite its greater size, these features, combined with video functionality, make the Mavic Air 2 AM strong starter option with the Mavic Mini 2. Number 5. DJI Mini SE. If you live in the countries where it is on sale, this is DJI's cheapest folding camera drone ever, and it's a wonderful beginner's choice. DJI is now only selling it in a few countries, including the United States, Canada, and Australia. DJI has cleverly incorporated the drone from the 2019 Mavic Mini into the DJI Mini 2S fuselage, lowering the price on both. Although it lacks the resolution and range of the Superior Mini 2, this is a wonderful combination for the price. The automated quick shots deliver multiple striking orbiting or other dramatic swooping pictures while keeping your subject in frame for customers who aren't learning to fly and shoot video simultaneously. Instead of adding extra scanners, the DJI Mini SE uses its intelligence to do this from the main camera, which likely enables even this novice model to get 30 minutes of flight time.